The system's about to be shocked by the undisputed era. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in at 200 pounds, Kyle O'Reilly. No regard for rules, only the cause of the undisputed era. And whatever it takes to enhance their place on NXT. We understand he works best in that Wolfpack mentality, of course, but a very accomplished singles competitor well, as you will see here tonight. Who's got time for rules when you're getting results? statement has been very simple. Shock the system. Incredible athlete. Incredible trash talker. It's not bragging if you can back it up. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. Part of the lawless outfit known as the Undisputed Era, O'Reilly is set to wreak havoc. You know, sometimes you need to go outside the... We know what's coming here. He looks to be losing a bit of leverage here. do that. I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. Bang and screw. That'll tear your knee up. Oh, what impact. Harsh impact. Flips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Taken off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. And it's Adam Cole showing some agility. someone who's an elite technician in the ring, always one step ahead of his opponent, and proud to let you know it. That's my kind. And here we go. Adam Cole with the cover. O'Reilly pops 
the shoulder up. Not yet. I need to return to Corey's gushing over Adam Cole's supposed finer qualities. I'm going to look at it another way. There are many who believe Adam is irreverent, braggadocious, obnoxious, and Kyle O'Reilly setting it up! Uh-oh. He's definitely starting to lose it here. And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Oh, what impact. He's struggling a bit here. Guys, he's going to have to turn things around quickly if he wants to win this thing. These guys are giving it their all here tonight. Not just to entertain the fans, but to ultimately walk away with the win. system for the young guns in NXT very impressive lately I don't know where Adam Cole gets the nerve to think that he can come in and take what he wants Saxton he doesn't just want to take everything Adam Cole wants to rule the entire industry beautiful technique this might be it oh my So precise. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good, Byron. Yeah, this is how people end up getting hurt. Oh, nasty impact. He's not looking like himself here. But we all know that he isn't afraid of a good... Oh, no. We know what this is. Is he done? Do that. I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. Face Buster! Man, that was vicious. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in.
This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. Back now inside the ring. Effectively using the knee. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. He's on the defensive now. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. Oh, man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punch. Hold on. No way. I'm really looking forward to seeing Adam Cole in action tonight. But I've always wondered if Adam Cole is really related to you, Michael. Figure it out, Byron. Otis Dozovic got out of there in time. Got the leg. Bang and screw. That'll tear your knee up. He's starting to feel it here. He's going to need to find a way to fire back. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. Byron, I probably shouldn't even dignify your dumb theory from before with the response. Clearly looking to prove some dominance there. If that's the case, I would consider that. This could be a cover. Two. And an easy kick out. Still a lot more fight left. Got it. Michael, that slush hammer can cause some serious damage. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. A fever pitch is coming. Uh oh. Is he done? As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane, and he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. <laughs> oh, man! The shoulders are down. The shoulder up. Not yet. Oh boy, he is rolling. O'Reilly just barely getting out of the way. O'Reilly just barely getting out of the way. Oh, brain buster. Here's his mom. He's looking for the win. Two, three. And this match is over. Now let's take another look at these guys in action. I remember this part very well. Man, this was great. And I always enjoy watching him perform. And kicking off here, guys. Harsh impact.
According to historians, the twisted metal that we see as part of steel cages today dates back 80 years. To settle a dispute between competitors Jack Bloomfield and Count Pietro Rossi, the two met inside a ring surrounded by a chicken wire. At first, these types of matches were referred to as fence matches. Corey, you gave us an impressive history of visions of the steel cage match. I'd like to point out to our viewers that from the 1960s through the mid-1980s, chain link fences were used to enclose the ring for WWE steel cage matches. A superstar, his shoulders are down, and that was only a one. Adam Cole is still undisputed for a little while longer. Oh, turn the features clean off your face. Oh. Team 2017 marked another historic NXT event. The battlefield known as War Games returned as a form of combat, and this time it was going to include three teams battling for survival. O'Reilly oh, just barely getting out of the way. Taking off his feet. He's looking at it. This move for him here, Michael. I got goosebumps before, Michael, when you talked about the return of the War Games. It was Adam Cole's undisputed era against Sanity. It was a pain, and he breaks out. He's not done just yet, Michael. Oh, the arm's trapped. Oh, what a slam. early. Looks like he's starting to fall. Looks to me like he's starting to feel the pressure, guys. I'm a little disappointed in his show. Maybe it's me, but I really expected this match. It's make or break time here, and he absolutely has to find a way to get back on the offensive if he wants to win this match. Sharp knee. This may very well be it. They're going to catch him off guard there, I guess. Going to take more than that. He's on his heels. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane. A lesser man would have given up and walked away by now. A very crucial part in the match for him here. He simply cannot let his opponent gain too much momentum. The steel cage is a massive enclosure that stands 15 feet in height. For almost 35 years, a select group of high flyers have taken their aerial assaults to greater heights. And when I say that, I mean superstars climb to the top of the steel cage, the real high red district, and dive off onto their opponent. Over of 1983, Jimmy Superfly Snooker. To your point earlier, Byron, we've definitely seen some unbelievable attacks be launched from the top of the steel cage. And you mentioned the most iconic. The steel cage match for the Intercontinental Championship that saw Jimmy Superfly Snuka clash against bitter rival, the magnificent Morocco. There's no denying that Superfly... Oh, Riley setting it up! Uh-oh. Is he done? How'd he do that? I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. Setting up. A stop in the way. Just nasty. You got to feel for Adam Cole. Looking beat down at this point. He's done. I mean, it looks to me like he's almost completely out. He has got to fight back. Adam Cole isn't looking like much of a playboy now. Than you've never seen a playboy in your entire. He's got the shoulders down. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. Close call. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. <laughs> Setting it up. Harsh impact. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Can he score the pin? 
And the shoulder's up in time. He just powered out there, Cole. He's calling for it. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, no. O'Reilly is showing signs that it could be ending soon. But I wouldn't be surprised if he had nothing left at this point. Oh, man. He's getting manhandled in there. I don't know how much more of this he can take. are not looking very good right now. Look out, look out! This could be it! He looks to be losing a bit of leverage here. No, he releases the holes! What in the world is he thinking? Does he not want to win? Fireman's carry. This doesn't look good, Corey. Couldn't agree more, Cole. This has got trouble written all over it. Oh, nasty impact. headway in shocking the system here, but I still wouldn't turn my back on. We've got an animated crowd here tonight as we usually do when we're in Orlando. 